a stop to the pig problem. Tonight, a new plan to halt the spread of feral hogs in California. The pigs damaging crops, ruining lawns, and threatening native species. CBS 13's Valina Jones with what some were calling a ticking swine bomb. Wild pig population problem. Our lawn got completely destroyed by pigs. $5,000 worth of damage. Sean Chittam owns SC Squared Outfitters, a company that creates hunting experiences. I have been sold out of our pig hunt since November. It is a huge demand. He has seen the impacts hog overpopulation can bring, leaving holes and tearing up land. Now, when you're talking Sonoma, Napa, or Central California, now you're talking a direct destruction of a revenue-based revenue, revenue based crop or vineyard. It is completely out of control. Senator Bill Dodd in Napa wants to reduce the population that he says brings potential health risk linked to foodborne illnesses and has cost the state $1.5 billion in damages. This is uh, you know, not only a problem for our farmers and agriculture and recreation areas, and also individual homes. But this is also an environmental problem when they get into our creeks and streams. In a new bill, Senator Dodd is looking to eliminate the need for permits, allowing more people access without the fees. CBS 13 wanted to know how this is any different when people can hunt year round with a hunting license or tag. We're getting answers. 20% of the total amount of feral pigs are being killed a year, but that is neutralized by the amount of new births. But at the end of the day, what we need to do is make it easier uh, for them to, uh, you know, to take more. Chittam says if done right, he thinks the bill could help reduce the population without extinguishing it. That's the hunter's responsibility is to manage it while protecting it. Well, the bill was just introduced. So far, it's gained support from farmers, and no groups have come out to oppose the idea.